Hi, welcome to a quick walk around video for our Audi A4 Avant S Line. Lovely, lovely car, this a real gem, lovely spec. Uh, my particular favourite colour combination of all black, everything, triple black. Um, it's got some really nice extras on it as well. It's in really nice condition. I'm going to take you around and show you everything that I can see. Um, if I spot any imperfections, I've spotted like two really minor ones, I'll point those out as well. Um, so yeah, let's go and have a look. So metallic black, um, I will put the name that Audi used, it's Black Magic or something like that. I'll put that on the advert so you can compare it, but it's it's a pretty standard metallic black. Um, on this grill here, you've got some little areas where the paint is flaking here and there. It's not, I didn't deem it bad enough to paint it. There's a couple of little bits and bobs. But your Quattro badge here is the four wheel drive one, it's not just got the badges. Uh, front parking sensors, headlight washers, LED daytime running lights, they're not flickering, it's just how it comes through on the video unfortunately. And Zenon headlamps. These wheels, lovely uh, 19 inch upgrade ones, not the standard ones that the car would come with. They are an Audi product I believe, but a factory extra. Um, split rims, you see the bolts in there. And there's a matching set of Michelin Pilot Sport tyres. They are 19 inch, so nice to have premium brand matching tyres on a prestige vehicle such as this, in my opinion. S-Line badges, indicators built into the wing mirrors. All the panels are nice and straight. I did spot the most minor, here it is. I'll try and get it in the light. There's a tiny, tiny little parking dent there. Yeah, there, might just be able to highlight it there. It is minuscule, but that and the little bit of flaking on the grill was all I could really spot. A couple of minor marks on the wheels as well I think, but I do mean minor. Uh, you can see it's got the privacy glass going through there and the sort of brushed aluminium roof rails. It has got the optional panoramic roof as well. The front section acts as a tilt and slide glass sunroof. The rear section I believe is static. It's got a blind that goes across as well. I'll demo that when we get inside of course. You see it's got a big uh, grooved brake discs. They're drilled and grooved on the front, I think. Yes, they are. Shark fin aerial up there for the DAB and the nav. High level brake light built in there. Twin exhausts out the back. This is the V6 TDI, so you get a nice little rumble from it. Parking sensors there as well, of course. Electric tailgate. When you want to close it, it's just that button there. Obviously, I'll do that in a second. Um, so, parcel shelf, and it's got the additional one with the sun blind as well. You've got all your owner's manuals there. I'll include a picture of that all spread out here so you can see what's what. It's got everything with it. 12 volt point in there. Just going to angle this up there so I can open this up and show you. Space saver spare wheel. Some tools down the side there, and it's got the detachable tow bar as well. Uh, the locking wheel nut is present, that's inside the car. I'll show you that when we get there. Let's pop that back down so it doesn't fall over the next time we drive it. And like I said, to close the tailgate, it's just a one button press there. And then it comes down, does the soft close. Uh, LED rear lights. You can see that by the way, it looks like it's flickering again. Again, I assure you it's not. The sort of extended side skirts as well as part of the S line package. A couple of very small stone chips across the leading edge of the bonnet. Right, we'll have a look inside now. Let's start at the back. Leather and suede throughout. Everything's black, as with the rest of the car. Electric windows in the back. You've got your uh, child locks there. All three headrests are present. Isofix for the two outer rear seats. If you're not using the middle rear seat, it has this fold down armrest and it has the through loading as well. As you can see, the roof extends, the panoramic roof that is, extends back to give use to the back passengers as well. And that's the blind there, which will demo in a second. 
really good leg room being the event. Just climb in here so I'll show you this. 12 volt point and ashtray slash storage. All the mats are present throughout. It's got the full set. It's got the S-line kick plates all round as well. Other side obviously much the same. Sort of brushed aluminium going through here. But all the seats in really good order. No rips or tears or anything like that. Another tiny little dent just there. Didn't spot that one when I was doing the pictures. Ooh, try and highlight it for you. Just there. Passenger seat's got uh, lumbar support as well as the seat height adjustment and it has got isofix points for the front as well. S-line logo's debossed in there. Airbag here. Quattro logo, just to remind you, you've got four wheel drive should you have forgotten. Then you've got your locking wheel nut in the glove box there. The MDI socket. These leads are interchangeable. It's currently just a um, sort of headphone 3.5 mil, but you can get that to fit USB or your exact device, lightning cable, whatever. Uh, that is to hold your music player in. If you want to do that, you can have it plugged in there permanently. That lead does have voltage running through it as well, so it can charge. Right, I'm head round to the driver's side now, where we'll finish off. The electric windows all round, that will stop beeping when I get in, it's just to inform me the engine's running and the door's open. Electric mirrors, electric tailgate, locking and unlocking buttons. Uh, driver's side, much the same as the passenger's side in terms of it having the seat height and the lumbar. Both of these have the extendable seat bases as well. Right, I'll hop in now so it stops beeping at me. So there's your lights, got the auto setting. There's the miles, should be able to see it there, 88,272. Got your wipers over this side, indicators there, cruise control down there. Nice leather trim steering wheel, uh, that's for your onboard computer. Then you've got your nav and your voice controls there. Uh, one key came in with this one, S-line key ring on there. Uh, right, here's your infotainment system. I'll see if it's got the speech module. Cancel. Cancel. So yes, it has got the speech module. As you can see, it's like colour sat nav. You control it all from down here. Uh, so that's where you link up your mobile phone. That's the radio. As you can see from the top in the middle there, it has got DAB. And then all your other media, media, <laughs> media sources are selectable there. And you can go in and see various bits and bobs about the car as well. And you can see that it's not due a service for quite a while. Next oil change, nearly a year away. Uh, next inspection service is 16,000 miles away, so right up to date on the servicing. Now this one has had an optional module installed that the previous owner showed me. You need to hold down the nav button, I believe. And then it switches over here to the... Um, this is the module that allows you to have the Apple AirPlay, so if you've got an Apple phone, it all links up through there. You can use all your apps and whatnot, and sat now from your phone and everything. So if that's something you want to do, to come back out of it, it's very simple. Just press car, and then we revert to the standard Audi stuff. Okay. Heat events, obviously, multimedia is here, so there's two SD slots and a CD. I think it's just a single slot. I'm not sure if it's a changer. I'll check the spec sheet. Uh, dual zone climate control. Heated seats for the front passengers as well. Here's your shifter. For you. When you come down here, you can go over into the manual mode. So you can shift up and down here, or you can shift up and down using the paddles on the gearbox there. If I pop it into reverse, you'll see the parking aid front and rear sensors that I showed you on the outside, obviously. Uh, electronic parking brake, that's your volume and skip tracks for your audio. 
and then that's the buttons I was using there to navigate all the on-screen menus. Just zip that back to the map. I like to leave it on the map. Probably got it on the forecourt here. It just looks nicer when you get in. Um, cup holders, storage area, armrest, again with storage. Airbags up here, illuminated vanity mirrors, interior lighting. Uh, this is your sunroof. So it's this one's the blind, the little arrows. Do that, it's like a one touch operation. Open that up again. Once that's open, I can then control this one. So you sort of twist this to how open you want it to be. And I think it's just a. Oh, there, that's it. You push it up in the air to do the tilt and back down to close it. So that's all working exactly as it should. Uh, auto dimming rear view mirror there as well. And I think that rounds out everything I can see. Obviously it's quite a high spec car so I could well have missed something here. Um, if I have and there's something you want me to demo just give us a shout and we'll do that on a live video for you. Um, I'll include as many pictures as I can of the inside, the outside and any paperwork that came in with this one. Um, because I know more and more people now are buying from distance having the cars delivered directly up to them without coming to see us first um, so hopefully all those images along with this video would give you all the information and the confidence you need to do so obviously have a read of our reviews as well 4.9 out of 5 I think over quite a few reviews so we do sort of try and stand on with everything we say and give you a, a really clear and honest view of what the car's like Obviously, if you're more local to us and you want to just come in and see it for yourself, you're more than welcome to do that as well. Uh, we just ask that you please make an appointment first. Okay, thank you very much for watching.